the button. Yeah, and then you have to confirm it. Yeah, I confirmed it, and it's now it's running live since yeah. 10 seconds, and it's not on the screen yet, but... And then you, you should keep it open uh, for, for all the talks, uh, not end after the first, that's what Jody did after the first talk, <laughs> because that's okay. So we should be live. Yeah, we should be live. And uh, welcome, everybody, to this evening session. Some people around the world already have dark, like I am. It's 8 o'clock in the evening for me. I think it's 7 for you, just. Um, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I would, yeah, I would say we, we directly start with your talk about GeoHealth Check. Uh, and yeah, I think probably a lot of people might know you. Uh, Just is the chair of OSGEO Netherlands and uh, a big help for me running the StreamYard platform. But uh, I think he has a lot of really interesting things to report. And yeah, it's your stage. Yes. OK. Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll... OK, thank you, Till. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm going to talk about GeoHealthCheck. Um, it's a mouthful. It's a quality of service monitor for geospatial web services. And we'll see what that is uh, that is about. Um, this is the, the, the content of the presentation. But um, well, one, one thing follows the other. So we'll go from here. Um, because we start with, uh, we saw, uh, with a problem. So we have these OGC OWS services. And I sort of assume you know what uh, these are. They think of WMS, WFS, um, WMTS, even the, the latest OTC API REST services you may have uh, heard of these uh, past days. And they are, there are monitoring challenges. And what are they? Um, some of you may have heard this phrase or a customer calls and say, I see pink tiles. And what, what is happening here? Um, so let's say there's a map viewer and this is what the customer would expect, a nice map. And actually what he, she sees is, well, pink tiles. And um, yeah, what is running here is, is an open layers uh, application. And I don't know if it's still in the current version, but uh, from the first version when open layers was not able to, let's say, fetch a tile or there was a problem, it would show by default a pink tile with a question mark. Because what we, in this case, actually received from the server uh, using this OWS service, let's say a WMTS, uh, or an a WMS is actually a well-formed uh, exception report. And uh, well, that's a piece of XML, so OpenLayers would know how to render that. And um, or it could even be an in-image error message. So uh, it, it it does send an image, but it uh, has some error in it. So or it could even be that the the map is um, realized by a, by a database table and which is filled every night and it's uh, sort of failed and uh, the, the the table is empty so you get nice white images um the point i'm trying to make is that many of these services uh well in let's say in the it department they, they they're using an http uptime service and the http uptime service would in these cases say well everything is uh, is okay it's a 200 uh, response for HTTP and uh, well, it's okay because, um, well, maybe you know the, these OWS services, at least the, the first generation has its own error handling on top of HTTP. So, um, or it could be that, that the monitor is only testing a GET capabilities and assumes, well, when we have a good GET capabilities request and then everything should be okay but the capabilities documents i've seen that a lot it could be even a static file or generated at some other place and basically a get capabilities file 
which is could be valid but it doesn't guarantee that any specific request will work for any specific let's say layer or uh, feature type in a wfs and well it goes on there's uh, these days we have time-based ogc services like these time series for the internet of things and one of the um, services uh, OWS is a source and also more recently the sensor things API and uh, there's a nice viewer the the 50 to north viewer some of you may know um, but let's assume that uh, something fails in this this whole chain from from a sensor to to the database and and there is a gap in the in the in the data how would you know otherwise than then um, yeah, uh, folks will view this, um, but you would like to be notified in advance. And like I said, there's public uptime services. I'm, I'm using these as well, like uptime robot and 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 uh, what do you have? Um, uh, some kind of ping services, but OWS services uh, specifics they need deeper inspection. That's the point here, and. Also, a public uptime service wouldn't uh, be able to access uh, because many of these OGC services run, let's say, on intranets internally. So they couldn't be even be used in the, those cases. So the whole point I'm trying to make here is that what we need is what you could call OWS uh, aware web service monitoring and also quality of service checking as it is more formally called and you would also like to have history capture because later on you may may, may try to 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 analyze what has happened and of course we have an answer to this um there's geo health check i will first uh, give a quick overview more more or less from from a user point of view so um, something about the projects, open source projects, GeoPython projects, and it was founded by uh, Tom Kralidis. Started in the air, literally, so on flight uh, to, um, uh, that must be Portland. Maybe it was, oh, it was a Phosphor G, of course, at Portland. Um, so I think, yeah, from, from I don't know, it's Toronto, but that's where it started. Good things start in the air. And it's a GeoPython project, uh, and you see, you can check out the other projects. And it's uh, yeah, even PyGeo API is already there. And and um, we had a, P a Geo uh, Python workshop, so I'll give a short tour. And you can check it out also on our demo website, demo.geohealthcheck.org. Um, so what we have here is uh, yeah, a dashboard and. Of course, there's still some improvements to do to the UI, but basically what you see is um, which percent, percentage of the service, because multiple services are monitored here, are, are operational, and how much of percent of the time they are up, so be a reliability percentage, and which are, uh, are currently broken. Um, and you can uh, also, uh, uh, select, for instance, here only the WMSs. Uh, there's tags. Um, so basically, you can can browse through the the, the overall uh, status, and actually the the home, the start, the landing page gives you usually the services that are broken, and yeah, preferably that that page should be empty. Um, so you can inspect. Uh, when you click on on a, on a, on a certain uh, uh, go back here, let's say one one of the, the these uh, surface entries, these endpoints. Uh, so this this is the the, the Isric uh, one. So um, because it had a nice pattern, we selected this one, and it's already some time ago. But you see uh, that the surface had been um, well, not, not maybe not really down, but problematic in some way, and and uh, that there was even a sort of pattern, um, and uh, so how do you set up these uh, the, these monit this monitoring for all these services? There, the the what you see here is the UI, so and, and you can uh, 
have multiple users and you can uh, log in and then um, from the menu you can select a certain service type you see there's much more than just OWS we even have the let's say sensor things API and these days we also have uh, OTC API features and that list is growing even as we ArcGIS feature service we can monitor um, and when you select the only thing you need to en enter is the endpoint so you don't need to have to enter a capabilities uh, URL and you can give it optionally some tags so here we add a, a WMS and when you enter this uh, what we call a resource an endpoint then automatically it gets a, a probe that's a terminology I will explain later um, to basically check out the, the the capabilities but then you are here in the editor and you can add more what are called probes because we do, we want to do more than just checking the capabilities for instance in this case a WMS so um, and we can uh, add some uh, various options uh, to to what is called the probe um, for instance the version of the the WMS we like to check and it has some intelligence in the sense that you can check for instance a single layer a get map with a get map request and it will pop up uh, the list of layers and you can select a layer and then um, uh, fill in some parameters but you can also request and then then it gets handy let's see this this WMS has 70 layers so we really like to check all these 70 layers whether they are working and you can do this with this uh, what we call the probe and, and basically you have to fill in a bounding box okay later we, we should do that on a map for instance and then uh, and it, it will the the geohelchic will start uh, yeah running these uh, probes in a certain um, you can select how often it will check let's say every 10 minutes every hour but at some point um, it may fail a single layer may fail and then um, what you will get and you can configure that uh, uh, is an email saying uh, well the basic something has failed and then something about the error and uh, apart from email you can also configure a webhook so to integrate with your own applications um, and then we can go to that resource as it is called that endpoint and we see um, let's say we see here that something has uh, has failed we, we can uh, show all the probe re recent probe runs and um, we can inspect further but we already see the message here uh, that that there is a layer named spot one and that there is some uh, ECW file that happens a lot that for instance where you have let's say raster data and somehow it could be even the the the, the preferences the the accessibility so that it's maybe not not readable but the file is there anything could happen uh, so we can uh, zoom in further and see what what it's really about um, and uh, at some point we, well we may um, correct anything and then at some point when the next check comes along uh, it may be fixed and uh, and we get an email that uh, that everything is uh, okay again so that's uh that's in a nutshell how how it would work from from let's say if you're a user it's, it's basically uh, also a yeah, application for 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 users um so how does this work internally I'll talk a bit about the architecture um and basically the geohelchic consists of three parts three separate components um, there is a python web app that's the dashboard and everything you just saw um, but in the background there is also a uh, what we call a runner um, which runs the actual checks um, and and there's a database so here you see it's uh, 
quite uh, well from this abstraction quite simple how it uh, how it is structured um so uh so on the dashboard you configure and you manage all your your health checks it's a flask web app um yeah the whole application is in python python 3 um it uses standard python uh whiskey and you can run it with any any uh, server that uh, supports uh, WSCI. Uh, we usually run it with JUnicorn. Um, and so, and the next one is the runner. And it, okay, it runs the health checks, and it's driven by a scheduler. We use AP Scheduler, Python, and um, it also manages the, the reporting. So sending the emails, the webhooks. There's also you can have a daily status. Um, that's that's what the runner does and it, it it's running in its uh, its own process or it's actually it's running multiple processes so it's both multi-threaded and multi-process and the health check model there, there's a certain terminology i, I already mentioned uh, some things what we call a resource is basically the 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 endpoint the ows uh, is what you enter in the in the dashboard and it has a URL as main uh, characteristic. And what we attach to that resource are what you call probes. And a probe is basically, in the simplest form, a request which is fired on the resource URL. It's not the, the, the check itself, because that's the, the next one. Um, uh, so a probe, you can attach, or it has attached uh, one or more checks. And it's basically the checklist. So each check ev evaluates uh, a certain aspect. Uh, for example, inspecting response content, uh, parsing uh, an XML uh, response. Um, uh, it could be could be anything. Uh, a keyword in the, in a response. But uh, all the checks together, they give a, a verdict, final verdict, which is success or fail, and. Um, you can uh, attach multiple probes to a resource. I think we have uh, uh, a, a picture uh, upcoming. And the nice thing is the probes and the checks are all plugins. So it's very extensible. And uh, there's a, quite some standards included, but you can write your own uh, plugins. Uh, if we have time, I can show some, some, some code for that. Um, so and there's the database. Uh, I think there, uh, oh, there, there will be a picture of the database. And you can also group resources, because if you have like hundreds or uh, resources handy to group them in some way, and you can attach tags. And you will see the tags back. So this is the, the core model. So in the middle, you have the resource. And the resource can have multiple probes. And each probe has one or more checks. and um, the run is basically the result of uh, of a single uh, yeah, run. It's basically uh, a, a set of time series, all the runs. Um, so that's the end of this uh, section. Um, installation. Um, well, there's a, it's a standard uh, Python uh, setup. And uh, we use uh, Paver and uh, Lambic for Flask to uh, as we use SQL Alchemy also um, to integrate with uh, with the data with multiple types of databases. Uh, so you can, in the simplest case, can use SQLite, but we advise to use Postgres. And now, well, strongly advise to use Docker. Then that makes it very easy to run a uh, GeoHealth health check. And we we have provided uh, the Docker uh, or images on Docker Hub, and there's Docker Compose support and. Well, you could be up and running in minutes. Um, and yeah, you can have various uh, settings. Also, uh, yeah, you can imagine that uh, that you need uh, some settings. And um, I talked a bit about uh, uh, probes and how uh, how they these are uh, set up as plugins and. Uh, I will shortly show how how the plugin model works. So there's probes and checks. They are plugins, and the plugin um, you can uh, 
configure these in the config. So it's um, that way the, the, the GeoHealthCheck instance knows which plugins are available. And they must be in the Python path. Um, actually, there are two probe types. There's a, a template one, which is very easy to use because it's basically a, a, a request with some parameters you need to fill in. But there's also a free form. So you can basically um, probe anything. Um, so I, I will show some, some code. Uh, so in its simplest uh, form, uh, th this is actually the complete code for an HTTP GET probe. So that's a probe because we can also um, basically probe any any HTTP endpoint. It doesn't have to be in OWS then for the for the sake of simplicity. So this is a complete template method, and you define. Uh, some some metadata and especially which checks are available for this probe because yeah they will do the actual health checks so to say and uh, this is an example of a check class and also here it's it's just a few lines of code the only thing it checks here because remember the probe does the actual request and then the the result is checked by checks and this this one checks if the Response is in the HTTP uh, 400 or 500 range, whether it's errored, basically. And uh, so that's 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 the simplest. Uh, you can have like like say uh, this is an OWS capabilities pro because all these OWS um, endpoints types they follow the same pattern. So we had to write this only once, and then the rest is by uh, uh, parameterization. Um, I see I have like four minutes. Um, you can define all these parameters as well in your probe, and these will show up in the in the in the UI. So that's also a way, quick way to to uh, yeah to deal with parameters without writing extra code or whatever. This this is just you need to specify this, and then uh, and of course we we welcome uh, folks that. Uh, would like to to write uh, improvements to the UI. Uh, we have some plans for for do, using Vue, JS, and API. Um, that is in short. So, roadmap um, the project is already well. We know started in 2014. Uh, the main thing we're planning is a REST API architecture. Um, several of the users and, and customers have asked for. And a REST API so they could um, integrate a GeoHealth Check within their, uh, let's say, for instance, a deployment environment where they deploy hundreds of services and, and you want to check each service and, and you don't want to go to the dashboard and, and enter these all by hand, but to, to sort of automate that. And the other thing is to have custom reporting. And like I said, the, the UE needs uh, some renewal and, and yeah one of our favorites is using Vue.js so uh, well and there's of course always more uh, things on the the wanted uh, list uh, and yeah we invite you to 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 help and um, and of course there's support there's a shameless plug here um, because yeah, you can install your health check yourself and, and manage it and upgrade and whatever. But you can uh, can also take a, a, a what we call these days cloud services on uh, geoqs.com, and then basically you get your own instance of Geo health check and you can manage that. Um, and yeah, that's about uh, the end here. So. Uh, quite some uh, some links still and uh, well I hope I could make across uh, what the importance is also of uh, uh, OWS mo monitoring and uh, well we love to see you using uh, geo health check and our main uh, communication channel here the chat is on gitter so you're welcome to to, to ask us but first of all we have uh, for instance uh, questions here. So thank you for listening, watching. Thank you.
Thank you, Brock. Uh, just sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm a little bit stressed because there are so many questions, and uh, oh. I try to, to to sort them all out. And uh, we we just go strict to, through the votings. And my my, uh, I would please you for short answers, so we can probably have uh, in five minutes some of them. Uh, Replied. So the first one is: Which further developments are planned for Geohot's check? Okay. Yeah, I was switching to the chat, but I don't see the chat messages because I didn't have that running. But uh, one second, I get back. Uh, oh well. Um, yeah. What is further planned? Uh, well, the main thing planned is the uh, the API, and and we're actually now have a funding uh, round going. We're trying to find uh, parties to jointly fund the API uh, developments. Uh, there's a, on our wiki on the rep repository, there's already the beginning of a specification. Yeah, that's the main. And I just, I think I showed some things in the roadmap. Uh, uh, well, where it was. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Can you perform stress tests? Yeah. In in, in theory, that's that's uh, possible. Uh, because I I showed you can write this sort of free form probe, and um, yeah, but yeah, you must uh, take take care that. Uh, it's not seen as a denial of service uh, attack, um, but um, nah, but real stress tests, uh, yeah, it is possible, but it's not the main uh, goal uh, because then 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 it's more like you have a bunch of clients and you let them all uh, do randomly things like you have this Apache tool for that, A to B it's called, I think. Um, but uh, we've seen that uh, going through all layers for many double, uh, there's something like a WMS drill down, for instance, it would go through all the layers and uh, even in the beginning, try out all the formats that it's uh, exposed, but uh, already most of the WMSs would fail because they don't, support these formats that they advertise <laughs> but uh, that was but yeah okay okay so More next questions. question is how major and how stable is geo health check eight people um, want to know the <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> um yeah i can only say i i'm using it in production and, and tom uh Kralidis as well for the for the past uh, four or five years Actually, I can't do without. I can't even imagine people running <laughs> services without. I don't know if there's an alternative. Yeah, I know there's some alter, uh, proprietary alternatives, but um, uh, it's it's. Uh, it, I mean, you must always have an HTTP uptime checker as well. But but um, uh, I, I run several uh, mapping services, uh, and and uh, yeah, I have that constantly guarded by by geo health check and uh, and yeah many I, I know about many customers yeah it's stable i should do cool. some marketing it, it's very stable <laughs> <laughs> okay probably we have time for one last question so is it possible to give username password for the probe to test services which require basic authentication good question and the answer is yes. It was um, actually a, a um, contribution by Geo Solutions um, to do basic auth on uh, on any any probe request, and and to go even further, we even support the ESRI basic auth, which is of course a bit, little bit uh, special with some special HTTP headers. But yes, answer is. Um, we, we support even several types. We support bearer token and basic author. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I think we're running out of time. Uh, maybe just you have the opportunity to go into the, the, the chat and reply one or two of the, I think about 10 questions. So probably you oh, have a wow. really good talk, but probably you didn't explain things really good. I don't know. <laughs> but, it could uh, be. Yeah, it was quite No, fast. no, 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 uh, no. no. <laughs> I think it's it, it just shows high interest. And I really thank you very oh, much for your talk. Here. And um, yeah. Thank you very much again. Get your kudos in in the chat, and um, we proceed. Yeah, with people the next... can grab me uh, tonight uh, during dinner. Uh, we already have dinner, <laughs> so perfect. That's, that's also if they they can't catch me in the chat. Okay, thanks very perfect. much. Uh, Thank you very much, and good luck with the rest of the session.